Beer Champ Barbecuers. Today, we're doing up some spare ribs on the Weber kettle with some Cosmos Q, SPG, and Dirty Bird Hot. Check this out, and I'm not gonna cut them into St. Louis, we're gonna leave them as full spares. I'm gonna cut into these. Boy, you can smell that Dirty Bird Hot. While we've got that coming up the temp, I got some apple chunks in there as well for that smoke flavor. And these ribs are just gonna sweat that rub in for about 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna be cooking at about 275 for probably two, three hours. We're not wrapping today. Nope, we're doing it classic. Classic spare ribs, baby, check it out. So we've been rocking for one hour at 250. Let's see what we got going on. I was gonna go 275, but it's been holding so steady at 250. I'm leaving it alone. But we're just gonna let it ride out. It might take four hours. Who cares? Got nothing but time today. All right, four hours, spare ribs. They probe perfect. They look amazing. That bark set up wicked. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get these off. These were very thin. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Oh, dried out turds. Let's try way down here. Not the best rib. Flavor's really good. A little dry. 
but at the same time, a little moist. It's the underside that got dry. And I left that membrane on. I scored it. Damn, that dirty bird hot. Ooh. Yeah, bottom's just too dry. Oh, oh, right there was good. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Woo, that's hot. Both hot from the heat and the goddamn dirty bird hot. Probably should have pulled it an hour ago. Damn. Luckily, it's only me eating tonight. Oh, man, it's good. All right, spare ribs. Not as expected. They were nowhere near as meaty as any spare ribs I've ever cooked. And I let these go a little too long. I only spritzed them one time with water, very lightly. But the bark looked amazing. Everything looked perfect. Tenderness felt great. And then, uh, yeah, probably 45 minutes too long. Flavor's still rocking. Um, the bottom side of those ribs, though, the meat that is there. It's just too, it's jerky almost. Hey, that's how you learn. And that dirty bird hot, I put on a ribeye last night. I did not taste the heat at all. But it's coming through on these ribs big time. It's good. It's really good. If you like a touch of heat, that is rocking. Man, maybe I should have grabbed the thicker rack of ribs. But being 4th of July, it was slim pickings, let me tell you. And I wanted to do spares. Originally, I was just going to do SPG spares. And uh, then I wanted that color. And it is what it is. But, damn good day. Happy Independence Day, folks. So join the Beer Champ Nation. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And smash that dinner bell. Because that's what time it is. Oh, hell yeah.